good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, I have another how-to tutorial for your WWE action figures today, guys. We are going to be taking a look at, again, the extreme champion of MDT Live, Kevin Owens, is here with me today, guys. And today, I'm going to teach you how to create thumbtacks for your WWE figures, for your pick-fed matches, for your hardcore matches with your figures. I'm going to show you how to do that here today. I got all of my thumbtacks in here, and uh, this is... I, I don't even know where I got this bag. I, I really have zero idea, but I know there's multiple bags that you can buy on eBay. There's multiple bags that come. I think that a Jake the Snake Roberts Elite came with a bag, and it's very easy. Maybe you could go buy those little candy sacks if you want a little bag to put the tacks in, which is going to be the best way to keep up with them, or maybe a box or a briefcase or something, but anyways, guys, let's go ahead and dump these thumbtacks out. You guys will see. This is where I keep all of mine, and there they go. All the thumbtacks here. I have a bunch of them in there. I really don't want to pour all of them out there, but you guys get the point. There are the thumbtacks. They're all here and I literally spilt them everywhere and you know it's kind of hard to keep up with but you know it is worth it I think they're pretty freaking sweet and I'm going to show you exactly how you can make them here today it's very simple very cheap and you can literally make it in three seconds so uh, let's go ahead and get into it so to make thumbtacks for your WWE figures guys all you're going to need unless you want your bag I, I went over the bag deal to make the thumbtacks themselves guys you're going to need aluminum foil Reynolds wrap or any other you know brand you can get this at Walmart for I think three or four bucks there's different square footages there's different thicknesses I think this is just the regular you know 30 square feet uh, you, you, you see the info there if you want to save it there it is you can go ahead and screen cap it or whatever you want to do it's just aluminum foil you guys see there you open it up you have your aluminum foil in here it's this thin sheet of silver metal like paper it's kind of hard you know you use it for cooking you use it to you know seal up things keep it warm keep it cold and you stick it in the fridge trying to save your mom's leftover freaking casserole that she made last night. You whip out your Reynolds wrap or your WWE thumbtack maker and you wrap it up and you stick it in there so you can eat the casserole for lunch tomorrow. But for today, we're going to make thumbtacks with it and so you just want to take a little bit of it like so and you can also make a grill for yourself. If you put this in your mouth, you can have your own JTG grills from Crime Time. But that's besides the point. Anyways, here you go. You got. I'm going to show you exactly how you do it, guys. You just take a little piece of it right here, just off the corner right here. Let's see, just like that. You guys can see here, this is the exact method I do. I just take it and I crunch it up like I'm trying to, I don't know, like you know when you, you put your gum into the wrapper? That's exactly the, the method you're going to do. You put your gum in there and you just ball it up like you do. And bam, there's a tack. Just like that. That is literally it. That is the exact process we take. You want to make a bunch of them, you just take a little piece. Take your piece here. Do the same thing. Ball it up. Ball it up and get rid of it. Well, don't get rid of it. You want to save it so that you can have thumbtacks for your WWE figures. But there it is. Onto the table it goes. And I literally, if I'm watching a YouTube video and I need some thumbtacks or something, if I lose a couple, this is literally the process I'll do. I'll sit down, put on a YouTube video, watch some of my homies, and I'll literally just sit there and make thumbtacks. And this is literally how you do it. You just take a small piece, wrap it all up, and voila, you, you have your thumbtacks. It's very simple. I, I can't think of another way that people have done this because, I, I, and another thing, these aren't, you know, in scale. You know, if you were to make uh, thumbtacks in scale with WWE figures, then there's no way that you could be able to, they'd be way too small. You'd literally lose them everywhere. And this is probably the best thing you can do to make thumbtacks. If anybody has a better idea, I would love to know it, but you guys can see that's a pretty small thing. So yeah, they're not going to be perfect scale or anything, but I still think they work. And you know, you, you put your figure on there and they, they, they react, you paint some blood. We've went over blood before. If you guys want to check out that tutorial on blood, we have that on the channel as well. You go check that out. You'll add some blood to their back. You know, you, you can even, you know, put some paint on the tack and then and stick it to the figure that way it looks like he has thumbtacks sticking out of his back and that's i mean that's pretty much it man it's very simple very cheap fake hack just like the the light tubes for your wwe figures if you guys missed that one definitely go check that out this was also brought to me by my boy prime wrestling on on youtube and instagram he's a beast and he comes up with amazing ideas for pick fitting and stuff like that but that is pretty much how you make thumbtacks for your wwe figures guys again the baggy the bag deal i i really do not know where i got this bag from and i I can't remember. I think me and Face Wife were out shopping and we went to some store and I think they gave us this for free. It like came with something we purchased and then I took it and I was like, I could actually make something out of this. And bam, now it's my WWE figure thumbtack holder for uh, all my WWE action figure matches and pick fetting and stuff like that. So what I do is I take my aluminum foil, ball it up, stick them all in here. That's where all the leftovers are. There's still a ton more in here. I literally sat there and tried to do 
an entire sheet before, and I'm sure we'll see these down the line in the pick fed. We're going to see some uh, thumbtacks. We haven't seen them yet. They haven't been used before. Who is messaging me? Because MDT Live's Kevin Owens, the Extreme Champion, does have his Fatal 4-Way Death Match with No Way Jose, Bobby Trashley, and John Morrison at the MDT Royal Rumble. So I'm sure, you know, anything can happen in that matchup. I'm sure we'll see some things broke out. But, uh, God, those just go everywhere, man. That is something I'll say, guys. You definitely want to have a bag to put them in because you're going to lose them. And I would say as you're doing them, add them to the bag. That way you're not sitting there with a pile of them and losing them and everything. Literally open your baggie or whatever you put them in, briefcase, whatever you're going to do literally have that open as you're cutting your, or taking your pieces of aluminum foil as you're taking it and balling it up drop it in the case do it drop it in the case do it drop it in the case that way when you have like 30 40 50 I don't even know how many I have like it doesn't look like that many but I swear to Jesus there's like a hundred at least and once it adds up if you have them all over the place you're gonna lose them and then you're gonna waste it and there's a ton of aluminum foil in this roll you can get it for four or five bucks like I said at Walmart different rolls different sizes and stuff but your mom has an excuse to buy it because she wants to take care of that casserole. You can't let the chicken casserole go cold. You can't let it go to waste. You gotta buy the wrap. You gotta buy the aluminum foil. Wrap up your casserole. Stick it in the fridge. Eat it for lunch. Eat it for dinner until it's all gone. And in the meantime, while you're using it for your casserole, you can take a little bit of it and make thumbtacks for your WWE figures or a grill for you, you, you know, uh, cosplay as Crime Time, JTG, or Shad. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. You want me to grab Seth Rollins so that I can, uh, you know, show you guys how I did that. So you got Seth Rollins right here. He gets power bombed by Kevin Owens onto the tax, and this would be his reaction, you know, yelling and stuff because he got slammed onto thumbtacks, and that's not going to feel good, guys. You ever seen Randy Orton get planted on the thumbtacks? You ever see Chris Jericho or Cactus Jack get slammed onto the thumbtacks? Not a fun experience, guys. So what you would do is, I guess, if you slam them, you'd take, like, paint or Mod Podge or something. I wouldn't do Mod Podge. That, that'll get all stuck on there. Use some paint and just add some to his back and then just take the thing and stick it there. Maybe it'll stick. I'm not sure, but, you know, you want to give it that realism effect. Well, I'm still grinding hard on MDT Live. I know I said I was going to try to have it up by this past weekend, but I am grinding hard on it. Hopefully, I'll have it up by the end of the week so that we can forge onto that MDT Royal Rumble. I know I'm hyping it up. I talk about it every single video, but I think that it will be worth it once we get there. I'm also thinking about changing the MDT Extreme Championship, guys. I would love to know your thoughts on that. If you guys have any cool design ideas or anything like that, please let me know down in the comment section below. Send me an Instagram message send me an email. Something that, I don't know, I like the design of it, but at the same time, it's just not, it doesn't scream extreme to me. It just screams like mid-card title, and like I said, since Kevin Owens took over the Extreme Championship, I think that we're going to shift into a different direction with the Extreme Championship, and it's going to get hectic here for MDT Live, for Kevin Owens, the champion, for anybody that wants to step up to KO and his championship. It's going to get interesting, guys, and it's going to be very entertaining, but that pretty much does it for today's video guys i hope you guys did learn something if you did leave a like comment down below some other tutorials you guys would like to see in the future any you know weapons or, or little fig hacks or stuff like that i would love to know so i can update you guys you guys seem to love the tutorials on the how-to series on how to make all the different weapons and stuff for your wwe figures so comment down below subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe figure videos follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you